what is happening what is going on welcome back to the channel so cool video today what i'm going to do is show you how to create like an ocean and then how to animate it so if you don't know how to do that it's really easy and then how to put like a floating object on it so you can use any object let's get into it and also what i'll do is i'll upload the file to the patreon so if you're a member and you joined you can download it for free if you want so let's jump into it so first thing shift a mesh add a cube and then what you want to do is let's go to modifiers add modifier and type ocean boom create it okay and then what you want to do is bring up the resolution of the viewport and of the render 12 just to give it a bit more detail now what you want to do is let's go to waves and then what you can do is play with the scale let's go with four it's a bit rough so let's maybe make it like 2.5 it looks good and then let's change the alignment 0.5 okay it looks quite nice okay and then what you can do is you can close the wave and it's got a time so make sure it's set on one and then click here to insert a keyframe now what you want to do is bring up your timeline and just bring us up a touch let's change this to about 500 and then what you want to do is click here to go to the end now let's change this to like 20 then click here boom and now if i hit play you can see the ocean moves okay that's what you want go back to zero you can see that's basically how you animate an ocean okay so you can see it moving okay so you learned that now what you want to do is get an object to float on it and move up and down and just just be one with the water if you know what i mean okay so now what you want to do is let's go shift a mesh add a plane the mesh boom okay zoom in then what you can do is just hide the ocean for now then what you want to do is hit s to scale three bring it to somewhere like that now make sure you go to modifiers click here type in subdivision Add a subdivision surface modifier, make it simple, then bring these up to three and three. Yeah, three. Sorry, and then what you want to do is apply this. So hit there, apply, boom, done. Now, with the plane selected, go edit mode to so click here, boom, and now go here to data, object data properties, and then hit plus, and then click on the sign, boom. And I can go back to object mode. So click here, boom, boom. Okay, you can bring this back in. And now make sure your plane is selected. Go to modifiers, add, and type in shrink wrap. Add that. Then look for target field. Select the cube, which is the ocean. And now if you hit play, you can see it moves with it. And you you can see where I'm going with this. What basically we'll do is we'll put the object on the plane in a way and it will move with the ocean okay let's do that okay so now what you want to do is go shift a mesh let's get our object to float let's use a torus and now what you want to do is go s5 to make it bigger you don't want it too big you don't want it too small okay something like that looks good if i hide this you can see you don't want it to be like way too big and you don't want it to be inside either that looks good and now with the tutorial selected let's go down here to constraints click click here and then copy location boom and now the target field you're going to use your guiding plane so the plane and then vertex group you're going to select group and then what you're going to do is close this add another one so go here boom and then go copy rotation and then same thing target plane vertex group group and now let's play the animation you see it's now floating and moving around perfectly what you can do is you can hide this plane and it will still do that look how cool that looks okay let's go back to the beginning okay now let's just add a quick material so boom now go to 
material, boom, hit new. Let's go to shading. Let's change the base color to like a blue. And then transmission, boom. Bring it all the way up. Another torus, click on it. Boom, hit new, and then just change it to like any color you want. Make it yellow. Up to you. Go back to layout. Okay, yeah, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You can see. There we go. Okay. Now, there's a few more things. We, well, there's one more thing we can basically do, or two. What you can do is you can make this smooth. So go to modifiers with your torus selected. Add subdivision surface modifier. One, right click, shade smooth. Now it's smooth basically and the last thing we can do is if you want the object to like move up and down or like side to side i'll show you how to do it it's actually easy let's do it and that's the last thing for this tutorial so what you want to do is select your ocean which is your cube and then let's just repeat x one more time to make it two just make it a bit longer okay so you want to bring this plane back and then select it so click on it and then what you want to do is click here to move it so let's move it this way so click here boom let's make it start there just shift this here so we can see better and then let's go here boom keyframe this location so click here and then click here to go to the end of the animation and then move it this way so we want it to end there somewhere like here and then keyframe it so you click there boom and now let's hide this again and then let's go back to the start of the animation hit play and now you can see it moving with okay and that's how easy it is and it moves through the animation okay so hopefully you enjoyed the video i'll upload this to the patreon if you're a member you can download it hopefully you learned a thing or two you can do it with cubes you can do it with people you can do it with cars so you can create some awesome animations with this and it's actually really easy. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.